Have you ever thought about building your own PC? If you have, and you can use a screwdriver, then all you need is a little know-how. Now the first bit, I can definitely do the second. Well, that is what I'm here to find out. Stay tuned and we'll take you through all the steps to make your own custom PC. Well, I've never built a PC before, so I'm pretty excited. So let's get on with it. So we've reached the halfway point without breaking a sweat. Now, I'm looking forward to firing this thing up. Now, what is the situation? Well, we've installed the processor and memory in the motherboard and then mounted it in the case and wired up the power supply. Now we need to get ready for the cards. There's no time to play cards now. I want to see this thing in action. Not playing cards, expansion cards. These let you add extra functionality to your PC and they fit in these slots here. And then you secure them with a catch or a screw. So what sort of cards are we talking about then? Well, it could be anything really. Even though this CPU has its own built-in graphics, we'll be putting a dedicated graphics card in, making it a little bit better for games. I do like my games. So the graphics card goes in this long slot here, but first we need to remove the backing plate. Easy. Now I just slot it in? Yeah, that's right. Just make sure it's in securely. There's a retaining hook at the back that should lock in place too. Some graphics cards are so powerful that they need extra power. If that's the case, then hook that up from the power supply too. Finally, screw it into the back of the case to keep it firmly in place. Right, that's done. So, are we on the home straight? We're almost done with the components. We'll install the optical drive first. Now, we're using a Blu-ray drive. These usually go at the top of the case, and you might need to remove a panel to make space for the drive. Sometimes this just means snapping out a plastic plate, but you might need to remove a piece of metal as well. But that's just a case of twisting it back and forth until it comes free. Then slide the drive in the front of the case. On some cases you'll need to screw it in, but on this one there's a quick release mechanism that makes light work of it. That's not going anywhere. Now we need a hard drive. Now there are two types of drive available. Traditional spinning disks like this one, or solid state drives, which are also called SSDs. Now, SSDs are much faster than traditional drives, but they cost more and can't store as much. If you can afford one though, they're well worth it. Now, SSDs are usually physically smaller than normal disks, but they usually come with an adapter plate so they'll fit in a larger bay. Right, so how does this go in? Well, some cases use runners or cradles to hold the disk, and then you just slide it in until it clicks. On others, you just push it in and secure it with the screws at the side. For this one, we're going to attach the drive to the cradle. Aren't we going to wear it up to the motherboard? Yes, both drives connect by SATA. These thin, flat cables connect to the drive and then to the motherboard here. So that's that done. Do they need power too? Yes indeed, and these are the power connectors here. Attach one to each drive. Now with all these cables around, try and keep them as tidy as possible to help the airflow, which will keep your PC cool. Now that has got to be it. Congratulations, you just built your first PC. Can I turn it on now? I'm afraid not. We've run out of time, so I'll have to save that for the final part. I am not going anywhere. This is way too tense, so I'll see you there.